Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What was the last thing you searched for on Google? I'm assuming you just came from Google, most likely searching for something. What else can you do on Google other than search? <clears throat> do you know what your neighbors search for? I mean, generally speaking. I'm assuming you don't, you know, Hey, what did you search for? I mean, that's kind of a creepy. Don't do that. That's not recommended at all. But I mean, you know, the people around you who live in your state, what do they search for? And how is that set of data correlated with other sets of data that's relative to the state? Well, if you'd like to know more statistics and cross-references between data points, you might consider this website, statestats.appspot.com, statestats.appspot.com, that's A-P-P-S-P-O-T dot com. And it looks like DYU did enter in that URL correctly, so just go ahead and use what was entered here in the chat room at live.perillo.com. This site in particular was submitted by Blake this afternoon, and I looked at it at first and was like, oh, this is kind of plain. It looks kind of junky. Right at the top, state stats. Explore the popularity of search queries in U.S. states. Well, it's a little more involved than just that in reading the description. The tool shows you how popular a Google search query is in each U.S. state giving a ranking like the one you see in the left column. So there's three columns, left, middle, and then I'm reading from the right. It then compares the ranking into other ways of ranking states, uh, like average income or population density using Spearman's rank correlation. The middle column shows the results of these comparisons with the strongest correlations listed first. And uh, right here, I'm looking at uh, the word Costco. And just to zoom in here on the state ranking for Costco, it looks like there's a lot of hot activity out in the West, so I'm guessing that there's not a lot of Costco uh, stores out in the East. And yes, there is Costco. Costco headquarters is right around here in Seattle, Washington. Uh, and I can scroll down and get a relative rate of search queries for Costco by users in this state. Washington, 100%. Uh, California, 83%. And then it goes down from there. So zooming back out again, uh, let's do a search for uh, meth. Okay. So it uh, looks like Montana is a hot spot for meth searches. And uh, then uh, next, it looks like Wyoming. Then it goes down from there. Uh, it, it is interesting, too, uh, if you go into uh, different uh, searches that, you know, right off, uh, right here, like uh, Jay-Z, looks like the, the uh, rate of, uh, I guess, searches happens to be up here in the uh, Northeast, uh, United States. New York being 100%. And uh, the metrics uh, that, that it's comparing against, density is uh, at, at 0.88, longitude 0.73, rainfall, illiteracy. Now, they're not saying that, this is the thing, it's not causality, okay? They're not saying that people who listen to Jay-Z are also likely illiterate. I mean, I could very easily click on the word tornado and see that obesity uh, is the number one correlation. That doesn't mean that tornadoes come after obese people, okay? It just so happens to be a stat matching these states of the people uh, that are searching most uh, for the keyword tornado, which happens to be in the Midwest, stands to reason. I grew up in Iowa, and oh, I hated, hated tornado activity. Oh, man, scares me, scares me so much. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I don't like traveling back to Iowa in the summer. I don't want to get caught in a thunderstorm ever again hate it. Of course, you can enter in your own queries. Let's try geek. Enter that in. Oh, this is interesting. A search for geek. Uh, looks like Washington, Oregon, California, uh, Minnesota. Looks like uh, Wisconsin, Illinois. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Michigan. Yeah. That is, is, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, Wisconsin. Or is that Michigan? <clears throat> Apparently, I need to go study my uh, state history. It's been since the fifth grade since I've memorized the map. Hopefully, I got that right. If not, I'm sure I will be called out on it. <laughs> Thanks again, Blake, for passing this along and giving me an opportunity to embarrass myself. It's a really cool site. Uh, you know, even if you don't know which states are which, uh, you can see general trends for search queries. Again, uh, the URL is state stats dot app spot dot com check it out easy to use clean straightforward uh you know and it was built i believe on 100 percent google technology 
Uh, tool uses uh, raw data from Google Insights for search, uses the Google Chart API to render the state map, Renders the, uh, r runs under the Google App Engine, and made by Doug Bieferman. And there's also a message board that's tied into Google Groups. So this is like 100% Google, and it's all about what you are doing, and what you're searching for. So my email address is chris at perlo.com in case you have any other interesting websites to share with me. I mean, these sites are fun and interesting, educational as well. Um, you know, I like looking at this stuff and potentially sharing it with the rest of the community. Uh, you might be a part of that community at geeks.perillo.com if you haven't joined yet. Of course, there's a community at youtube.com uh, and, you know, I'm youtube.com slash locker gnome. Those are my videos, likely the video that you're watching now, unless, of course, you're watching it on your iPod or PSP by way of podcast. I've been in the iTunes store, even though you, it's free. I'm, I've been in the, you know, iTunes index for podcasts uh, pretty much from the very beginning been doing this for quite a while. If you'd like to join us in the live chat room, you're more than welcome to. You may be uh, a part of the live video experience that's happening right now. Like, even while you're watching this video, we are talking about things that uh, happen to be happening in our lives at this moment. And we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.